Sunny Clark with Oregon Music News at the 27th annual Safeway Waterfront Blues Festival here at the beautiful Portland Riverfront with Jeff Cote, who is the stage manager for the Miller Stage. And how long have you been doing that job? This is my 26th year. 26 years, that's dedication. You've at seen the a same lot of acts. At the same stage. Same I've seen stage. a lot of acts, I've seen a lot of music, and I've seen a lot of good people. Well, you won't be seeing Greg Allman this year, we know, but not. you're- uh, It's unfortunate, I hope the best for Greg. But you will be getting Curtis Delgado back. We will be, and he's always a good show. He's a good friend of the waterfront and a good friend of the food bank. That's right, and you're a good friend of the Blues Festival as well. 27 years, folks. Or is it 28? 26. 26. 26 I'm sorry, years. I threw that off. 26 years of dedicated service at that stage. So when he doesn't let you backstage, no, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us today, Jeff. You're welcome. I see you're wearing a Jim Miller button. I we're am wearing my Jim Miller button. As I am, and we're doing a tribute to Jim Miller today. Mystic Crew is doing a tribute at 2.15. The music starts in a parade. And uh, I hope everybody enjoys it. And Jim Miller was a, not only a good friend, but a good person. That's right. We're all going to be there. Thanks a lot for joining us today, Jeff. You're welcome. We always love seeing here at Blues Fest. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate this is Sunny Clark for Oregon Music News at Safeway Waterfront Blues. I'm here talking with the bead man, Merlin. How's it going? It's great. It's How great are you festival. the festival? It's always great. Are you here to see somebody today? I'm here to see everybody. That's like me too. I'm here to see everyone as well. Have a great time. You too. Thanks. I'm here at the Safeway Waterfront Blues Festival with Bill Phillips. I understand you're celebrating your 25th anniversary That's as stage right. manager of the First Tech Stage. That's right. 25 years. Hard to believe. It is hard to believe. But you really bring it all together every year, Bill. Well, we try. I have a great crew. That's what makes it happen. Great people, lots of great volunteers, and that's what makes the food bank happen. I mean, the, the whole uh, food festival. Every year, tons of volunteers put this event together, and Bill leads the way at the First Tech Stage. We all love having you there. Thanks for talking with us today. All right. I don't want to know about it. Fabulous performance. What do you guys call your troupe? We call ourselves Priyanja de Zumbi. And where can we see you perform? Uh, and Fabian and Ver Vernon, we can see us perform. Fabian and Vernon Schools? That's great. So thanks for uh, letting us watch your performance and talking with us. These girls are really talented. Keep your eyes open for them. Thanks a lot. I'm here with Tim, who manages our t shirt booth. How are sales going this year? Oh, better than ever. I think it's a record year. Are you selling new shirts as well as vintage this year? On Saturday and Sunday, yeah. The vintages are very popular. That's great. I love Diane Russell's designs. We wear them every year. And we always enjoy our shirts. Thanks for running the booth, Tim. You do a great job. It's super busy. Come on out and see Tim. Buy yourself a t-shirt. This is Sunny Clark at Safeway Waterfront Blues Festival with Stan Street, who is the stage manager of the Crossroads stage. I think this is your third year? Third year, But yes. you've been coming for years, right? And I'm just a baby. At the... Yeah, he's the baby of the <laughs> yeah. stage manager group here at Waterfront Blues I, I, Festival. I've actually been coming here for about seven years now and uh, working with Amanda Gresham over at DME and, uh, and then doing the harmonica blow off. And this year I'll be playing with uh, Leo Budwells. I've played drums with him. So uh, they kind of use me in uh, different situations. That's great. Ah, but and it's great to be a stage manager here at the Crossroads stage. And it pays to be the baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. I haven't been a baby in a long time. <laughs> we'll talk with Natasha Haynes, host of PDX Spotlight. How are you enjoying the festival, Natasha? I am loving this. It's beautiful out here. We're having a great time talking with people. PDXSpotlight.com. Check us out, guys. You guys can follow us on Twitter, Instagram. Make sure you follow us. We are who you want to visit, who you want to see for local musicians, all right? Tell the folks who haven't heard of PDX Spotlight yet what it's really all about. We are a show that's giving local Northwest musicians a platform for their music, so it's great. So bands, if you want to be on TV, this is the place to check out. PDX Spotlight, I'm Sunny Clark for Oregon Music News. I'm here with the Front Porch stage manager, Sheldon Phillips. Hey, wait, Phillips, that's Bill's last name, too. He's the manager at the First Tech stage. What's the story behind that? Uh, uh, well, as Bill likes to put it, we're um, uh, twin brothers from different mothers. So Twin brother, uh, different mother? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, he got me started in this uh, uh, about 15 years ago. So I've been doing it, uh, doing the front porch uh, for, for uh, that long. Is this your 15th year? Um, it's about my 15th year. I, I, I kind of lose track because it's the Blues Festival. And we were talking so, to know. Stan, he's the baby at three years, 
right? Oh, oh yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. That's a newbie. Yeah, he's a Definitely. newbie, right? Yeah. <laughs> but Sheldon here, he's an old hand. And what do you do uh, in your other life? Um, I, I work for Portland Community oh, College, mm -hmm. and that's where I know Bill from because he worked at Portland Community College and also. What do, you, what do you do there? So uh, I'm in uh, transport transportation <laughs> services. That's why he runs this area so efficiently. He is so together. Everyone enjoys being back here, and it's all because Sheldon makes it run so smooth. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. I'm here with Mary Flower, who I believe is performing today. Yes, I am. Tell us about Absolutely. your performance. Um, I'll be on the boat with Duffy Bishop and many other wonderful people that she's gathered together for her sail on Sister Cruise. Right. I think Ellen so, White's joining you. Is that right? You know what? I, <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> probably. 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 Most yeah. likely. Yeah. And um, are you are you enjoying the festival? Oh, it's been great. It's been wonderful just to run around and you know I've had scattered little gigs I was across the street at the hotel oh, last did you do night the that was really fun really hotel? really fun yeah and that awesome. was a nice new venue and then did the uh, uh, I can't even think what stage I was on the, I those. did a crossroads <laughs> stage oh, yeah. with the barbecue boys and we had a oh, yeah. fabulous time I heard that was a really great it's the best festival in the world you guys we all know that. It is the best festival in the world. So come on down to Safeway Waterfront Blues in downtown Portland. I'm Sunny Clark for Oregon Music News. Have a sunny day. Where the heck can people park when they come downtown to the Blues Fest? Well, here, here at the Blues Fest, there's plenty of parking throughout the city of Portland. There's Smart Park for everybody who wants to come and get, get here early so you can get a spot. Albert wants you to know for sure one place you cannot park is where? Under the Hawthorne Bridge. So don't even try it. Come on downtown. There's plenty of parking garages and there's the max you can take, buses you can take, use the transit, ride your bike. It's a beautiful day. I'm here with Terry Currier, owner of Music Millennium in Portland. We're at the Safeway Waterfront Blues Festival. And Terry here has the uh, souvenir booth to beat all because he's got all the music you want to hear from the performers at this show. A lot of them come over here and do live autograph signings, and Terry runs the whole show. How many years have you been doing this, Terry? Uh, we've been doing it as long as the festival's been here. So 27 years. Come on down to the Music Millennium booth and get your blues on. This is Sonny Clark for Oregon Music News. We'll see you at the Blues Festival. Can you tell me what you saw? It ain't pretty.